Hey folks, so went to some garage sales today, but uh, just first, if you haven't been on this channel before, um, I am a 34 year veteran in the antiques and collectibles industry in Manitoba, Canada. So out here on the Canadian prairies, uh, like I said, been doing it for 34 years. Uh, been picking long before it was a topic for TV shows. But uh, anyway, Today I've just got some garage sale finds for you. Uh, went to, let's see, three sales and one pre-garage sale. So I'll show you a few of the things. Uh, didn't get a lot, uh, just got stuff at one sale and uh, some at this pre-garage sale. So I'll show you the stuff now. So first of all, got uh, this wash tub stand, this BD Brothers Limited uh, stand. Kind of a folding thing great coffee tables paid a little more than i normally do for these uh paid 25 can get maybe 65 tops kind of out of it and this cast iron base uh ice cream table ice cream parlor table uh, a little shaky just needs to be tightened up though but uh, not too big of a deal can get 75 out of it uh, paid 30. So we'll go inside and uh, show you some of the small stuff. So this was, those two previous pieces were both from the pre-garage sale call. Uh, they're having a sale next week. Um, Got to go back anyway, as it turns out, because they didn't have a lot of stuff ready. So I'll be going back uh, next weekend. But anyway, got a 1970s 3-in-1 oil. Or 70s, maybe even early 80s. It does have a UPC code on it. Um, these are just uh, cast iron bits from curtain rod holders. They're swing, swing away curtain rod holders. That's what they're from. A uh, little enameled uh, candle holder. Not in the best of shape, but it was cheap. Uh, got a cowbell and a tire repair kit. So that little pile cost me five bucks, so not a whole lot of money invested there. So the cowbell is probably 10 to 15. Um, Cloud's repair kit, 10 or 12, 15 bucks as well. Uh, the holder after it's cleaned up, probably 15 or 20. Uh, the cast iron pieces, maybe five bucks a piece. And uh, the tin, probably 10 or 12, 15, maybe. So anyway, we'll go through the other stuff. Uh, the stuff came out of an estate. Uh, no, not this. Just uh, had brought it in from the van. Um, let's see. Let's go through this stuff here. Got a lamp base. Going to have to do some repair. Uh, needs a proper screw in there because it's got the wrong screw in there but I've got some of these I think and uh, I'll put a funky Art Deco shade on it and uh, some felt on the base and fix it up but for two bucks it was pretty good and let's see got this sort of Wedgwood type pitcher so that was a whole two dollars so yeah kind of almost like a syrup pitcher but uh, I forget what this stuff's called again. Jasperware, I think. Uh, this is more kind of a copy of Wedgwood's type of Jasperware. But uh, still, early, um, I don't know, probably $30 or something like that. Maybe $35. So that was all right. And I've got uh, a piece here. This is cost a whole 75 cents. Um, it's kind of a nice ruffled vase. That'll be ooh, probably 30, $30, something like that as well. So for 75 cents, making plenty of profit. And I've got a bottle opener, a rooster bottle opener in brass. 50 cents, that's a $25, $30 opener. So that's all right piece of yellowware not sure kind of the value on this one i'll have to do a bit of research uh didn't cost a lot it was a whole 75 cents um 
I suspect that's going to be at least $30, $40, maybe more. So I'll have to do some digging on that one though. But anyway, that's what I picked up, folks. So not a whole lot, but some still some interesting bits and quite reasonably priced. Oh, and uh, I did also get a pastel. Um, I don't think it's a known artist. Might be, but because uh, it isn't too badly done so it might be a known artist i'll have to do some digging and see what those initials represent but for a dollar regardless that's still a 30 dollars piece if nothing else could be worth more if i can identify the artist anyway so that's it folks this time that is it <laughs> thanks for watching please be sure to like and subscribe and check out our other videos on antiquing picking thrifting scrapping etc take care folks